Hello and welcome to the Storage Commander Network. This is going to be a short video on showing you how to complete a basic rate change using the Storage Commander. In order to access Storage Commander's rate change management, simply click on the rate change icon located at the top of your screen. As you can see, I already have a 10% rate increase set up in here, but I want to show you how to duplicate this so you can do it on your own. So the first thing we're going to want to do is go ahead and select New and name your rate change. For this instance, I'm going to use the same name as I did before, just use 10% rate increase. Pick a category. For this, I'm going to use 10% <laughs> rate increase. Your own facilities will have different names for your categories once you have them set up. After naming your rate change, it's time to set up how it's going to affect your units. Since we've named it a 10% rate increase, you can simply put the amount as 10 and change the fixed into a percentage. Uh, from here afterwards, you can prorate prepaid accounts if you wanted or round the amounts. We're not going to do that at this time. Uh, what we are going to do is print some notices though. I do want my customers to know that they will be receiving a rate change. And I'll send those notices out 30 days before the rate change is effective. Now, essentially, we have just created the 10% rate increase. It's not in effect yet, but you can use this at any future point. Now let's dive into applying these rate changes that we've just created. In the Apply Changes section, you can see your facility, the rate increase that we've chosen, and then the criteria for what the rate change is going to affect. As you can see, there's lots of different criteria that you can choose from. Uh, you can use size, for instance, like 10 by 10s, and it'll pull up all the 10 by 10s in your contract. You can clear that. Uh, if you want to do it by move-in dates, you can select a previous move-in date and then it will pull up all the contracts before that date. For this example, I'm just going to do a global 10% rate increase though, and that's just leaving everything blank. And from there, you can select the effective date. And since we generate the notices 30 days before on this particular rate change, I'm going to select the 15th of next month. And from there, simply click apply. And from there on, the rate change will start on the 15th of next month, and the rate change has been applied successfully. If you want to view pending rate changes that you've already set up, continue to the View Pending Rate Changes tab, and simply select your facility and refresh the list. From here, you can see everyone that you have that 10% rate increase attached to. And with that, this will conclude our video tutorial on how to complete a basic rate change using our Storage Commander software. For more information, please visit our website at www.storagecommander.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.